Hello. I figured I'd do an update. I haven't really done that much, just... I got crosshead guides. They look awfully silvery, and that's because they're just painted plastic. I'm gonna make them out of steel. I got some scrap here that I'll stick on the shaper. It's been so hot and humid, and my allergies are messing up really bad, so I can't even see to work. So, I got piston rod all finished. New piston rings put in it, so there's no real friction at all, but there's plenty of compression. The and I got the bolt holes all done throughout it with the super glue trick, which worked really well. Just if you ever do that, don't use the fast acting stuff. Not the best idea. But yeah, this is all done up. I've got 3D model of these set up here. They're a little too high for the layout. There. They're a little too high for center height. So I'll have to take and machine that down. I put it as 5 sixteenths of an inch. I need to go quarter inch between this part here that the crosshead rides on to the base. I need to go quarter inch. Um, I, I also took and did layout and stuff on this. I'll cut it in half and just solder it back together and then I'll take and um, I'll solder back together, stick it in the lathe, and then use a trip handing tool to remove all this. So that I, I'm not wasting all of it to shavings. I've got the eccentric sheave and stuff planned out and ready to go, so that's good to go as soon as I get that hand out and cut the groove in it which I got 3d models of all that stuff already designed up I might throw it on the end of the video I think the next project to do right now is to make a height gauge for a like a surface plate so that I could take and get in the middle of this the crank or the crosshead pin level with the middle of the bearing caps. From then I'll probably melt down and take and cast some bearing caps blanks for this thing out of gunmetal. Because I have a little bit of gunmetal. Actually more than a little bit. So I'll make it out of that for the bearings. I was just thinking about getting um, either phosphor bronze or I think overseas it's C932 bronze or in the US it's SAE660. It's just leaded bronze. But I was thinking about getting that. I've been looking into it also from my lathe to rebuild the headstock bush bearings or bushings. So, yeah. I think when it's all done, I'm going to paint the body black with these. Black and the cylinder have cop or brass cladding over top of it and put paint that black too so it'll have the silver end caps and all the silver rods and also all the steel is going to be silver and all the brass and bronze pieces are going to be like a gold color so it'll really stick out I've put the water stuff in my sand so that I can cast out some more of those blocks and stuff 
for the manifold blocks. Yeah, and I got to cast out the steam chest, which is the piece that goes on here that holds pressure on everything and all the valves and stuff right on and where the valve goes to make it run. And yes, this is an old um, turkey fryer. I grabbed it out of the scrap pile and it was going to cut it up for using for scrap metal. This is a lot of good stuff. A lot of good steel. Anyways, I also or we also finished up the shop too. All the ceilings and everything are painted, everything's done. We gotta put the wood on the walls, which we're gonna put the OSB on the bottom and like T111 on top and run a piece of sheet metal all the way around along the bottom so that it will do it up or so that it acts as a spark guard so if I ever have if I'm grinding or something in here I can I don't have to worry about catching the wood or anything on fire also I got the first piece of equipment in the shop here I don't have it turned on right now because it's still kind of cool. Just a really low powered air conditioner. The other one kind of got taken. So, yeah. Yeah, that's as far as I got on this thing. It's looking pretty nice. I put the exhaust port in the wrong place and it'll just be covered up with the cladding anyhow, so it doesn't matter. I just plugged it back up and yeah. But yeah, it. I think it looks pretty good. I gotta clean up the flashing or the sand wash in here, but I may just take and fill that in with some epoxy so that it rounds it out. You never know it. Because I gotta do it with these anyhow, because they're. because that shrinkage in the middle. So, yeah, I gotta take and make these out of steel next. I was just trying to get them done up so that I can get the general idea of what I'm looking for and get the dimensions. And from then, I can start piecing this together. So, also, I'll probably not do much for videos for the rest of the week. I got a really massive steam festival coming up this weekend, so I'm going to have plenty of video from there. Yeah, we got the trap door and everything all done up. I don't know why he left it bright white, but I don't know. Or wanted to paint it. Yeah, all the walls and stuff are all insulated and the ceiling is double insulated it's, the ceiling has two layers of three quarter inch of the aluminized um, insulation there and the walls have the single layer but behind them it's the fiberglass insulation so you turn the air conditioner on that low booger and it takes about one degree per minute until it gets going then it starts it just it'll take three four degrees per minute to drop and it it stays that way for hours afterwards if you turn it back off so it won't take long to cool it down or heat it back up in the winter so that's all I have to really show. Just got it all painted and lights are missing out of it because we haven't put them back up yet. But yeah, we got those ones. Those are just LED ones. Okay. Not much of a video, but figured I'd just do an update. I think next one will either be the height gauge 
or these. So now it's too hot to work in the garage right now. It's so humid and hot that you can't do much. So we've been working in here in the air. So okay. Thanks for watching. See ya.